This tutorial will guide you through the everyday use of your machine and show you how to prepare delicious Nespresso coffees. This machine operates with Nespresso Virtual Capsules. Nespresso Classic Capsules cannot be used in this machine. Ensure a previous capsule has been ejected before inserting a new one. The recommended cup sizes are for a mug 230 milliliters, Gran Lunga 150 milliliters, and Espresso 40 milliliters. First make sure the water tank is filled with fresh drinking water. Turn the machine on by pushing the button. Green light will blink while the machine is heating up. A steady green light means the machine is ready. Place a cup of sufficient capacity under the coffee outlet. Open the machine head by pushing the lever upwards. Insert a capsule of your choosing with a dome shape facing downward. Press the button to start the brewing process. The machine will automatically recognize the inserted capsule and select the coffee preparation parameters and cup length defined by Nespresso coffee experts to extract the coffee blend at its best. During the coffee preparation phase, coffee will start to flow. Green light will rotate quickly during brewing. Steady green light indicates that coffee brewing is ready. If you wish to stop the coffee flow before the end, simply press the button again. To eject the capsule, open the machine head by pushing the lever upwards. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Should you need more information, please visit Nespresso.com. This tutorial will guide you to the everyday use of your Creatista Uno machine and show you how to prepare a cappuccino. To start, fill the water tank with fresh potable water. When preparing milk recipes, you can easily follow the steps on the quick recipe card attached to your Creatista Uno machine. Push the cup support to unlock and accommodate your cappuccino cup. Fill the provided milk jug with fresh cold skimmed milk to the level of your choice. Minimum and maximum levels are marked on the inside and the outside of the milk jug. Lift the steam wand and position it in the center of the milk jug. Ensure the milk jug is making contact with the temperature sensor located in the drip tray. Lift the lever, insert a capsule and close the lever. Press the Ristretto button to start coffee extraction. When the Ristretto extraction is complete, select the milk temperature of your choice and level 2 for a cappuccino milk foam. Start milk frothing by pressing the steam button. When milk frothing is complete, lift the steam wand and wipe with a clean damp cloth. Allow steam wand to return to its down position and it will auto purge to rinse itself. Pour milk foam into the espresso to finish your cappuccino. Thank you for watching this tutorial and enjoy your Nespresso Creatista Uno machine. This tutorial will guide you through the very first use of your Ascenza Mini Machine. Start by rinsing and cleaning the water tank before filling it with only fresh drinking water. Then place the water tank back in place. Place a container of at least one liter under the coffee outlet. You can now plug your machine into the outlet. Turn the machine on by pushing either the Espresso or Lungo button. Lights will blink while the machine is heating up. Ensure there is no capsule in the machine and that the lever is closed. Push the Lungo button to rinse the machine. Repeat this operation three times. Your Ascenza Mini Machine is now ready to use. Watch the Everyday Use tutorial video to see how to prepare your coffee on a daily basis. Note that the machine will automatically switch off after 9 minutes. If you want to turn the machine off before the automatic auto-off mode, Press both the Espresso and Lungo buttons simultaneously. With the ultra-compact Ascenza Mini, you have full access to the world of Nespresso coffee. Thank you for watching this tutorial. 
Should you need more information, please visit Nespresso.com. This tutorial will guide you through the usage of the milk system of your Latissima One machine. To start, fill the milk container up to one of the two levels indicators, cappuccino or latte macchiato. Close the milk container and connect the rapid cappuccino system to the machine. The machine heats up for approximately 15 seconds. Lift the lever completely and insert the capsule. Then close the lever. Place a cappuccino cup or a latte macchiato glass under the coffee outlet. Adjust the milk spout position by lifting it up to the right level. Press the milk button. The preparation starts after a few seconds. The milk will pour first and will stop when the milk container is empty. The coffee will pour next. When your preparation is finished, Lift and close the lever to eject the capsule into the used capsule container. At the end of the preparation, the clean alert illuminates orange to indicate it is necessary to clean the rapid cappuccino system. Disassemble the rapid cappuccino system and clean all components in the upper side of your dishwasher. To disassemble your rapid cappuccino system, proceed as follows. Remove the milk container by pressing the button on the side of the milk jug. Unplug the aspiration tube. Press the button on the side of the milk jug to pull out the milk spout. Press the button on the side of the milk jug and pull to unlock the rapid system connector. If you do not have a dishwasher, soak all components in hot potable water at approximately 40 degrees centigrade or 104 degrees Fahrenheit together with mild soft detergent for at least 30 minutes and rinse thoroughly with potable water. Then dry all parts with a fresh and clean towel, cloth or paper and reassemble. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome to the Nespresso assistance video on how to use your Latissima Touch machine. Before the very first use of your Latissima Touch machine, we suggest you follow some simple instructions. To start, remove the protective film and the water tank. Rinse the water tank before filling with fresh, drinkable water up to maximum level. It is important to set the water hardness correctly in order to descale the machine at the correct frequency. This will ensure the proper functioning of your machine over its lifetime. After plugging into the main outlet, switch the machine on. For the first few seconds, the automatic power off and water hardness settings are indicated with a steady light. Place a container under the coffee outlet and press the Lungo button to rinse the machine. Repeat this operation three times. Thereafter, you will then need to disassemble the rapid cappuccino system for cleaning. Begin by removing the milk container lid and unplug the milk aspiration tube. Remove the milk froth regulator knob by turning it until in the remove position and then pull it upwards. Then remove the rapid cappuccino system connector by unlocking it from lock to unlock and pull it off. Finally, move the milk spout by gently pulling it off. Clean all components on the upper level of your dishwasher. In case a dishwasher is not available, soak all the components in warm water, approximately 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, together with soap detergent for at least 30 minutes. Rinse them with drinking water and then dry with a clean damp cloth. Your Latissima Touch machine is now ready. You can begin to enjoy your machine and the Nespresso coffee quality cup after cup.